Now it turns out that some numbers have only two factors. For example, we're told here to list all the factors of 7. So what numbers can multiply to give me 7? Well, 1 times 7 comes to mind, and, and that's it. There are no other numbers that you can multiply. As long as you're dealing with positive integers, there are no other numbers you can multiply to give you 7. So to list the numbers, it would just be 1 and 7. And that's all, only two factors. And note that we're trying to find factors of 7, and the only factors we find are the number 1 and itself. And a number whose, whose only factors are 1 and itself is called a prime number. And prime numbers are mathematically interesting, and they're also useful mathematically, as we will see. So it's good to know uh, some, of the, some of the prime numbers that show up commonly, some of the smaller ones. So let's list the first several prime numbers. Start with 2. 2 is the smallest prime number. And then 3, and then 5, and 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now all of these numbers have this property. You cannot find any two numbers that will multiply to give you any of these numbers other than one and itself. So for example, the number 15 is not in the list because you can do one times 15 and get 15, but you can also do three times five. You can't do any multiplication problem and end up with any of these numbers unless you're simply using one and that number. Now a couple of things to note, the number 1 is not in the list. The number 1 is not considered prime. Prime numbers by definition have two factors, 1 and some number other than 1. So you could say that the number 1 is 1 times 1, but you wouldn't count the 1 times the 1. You wouldn't count those as two factors. That would just be the number 1 as a factor, and that's all. So prime numbers have two, exactly two factors. So the number 1 is not prime. Another thing to note is that the number 2 is the only even prime number. And if you think about it, you realize that all the other even numbers are multiples of 2. That's what it means to be even. Every even number has the number 2 as a factor. So it is therefore not prime. Because any number that has factors other than 1 as, and itself is not prime. Now this list goes on and on. This is just the beginning. And as far as we know, there are an infinite number of prime numbers. And mathematicians have been thinking about prime numbers for a long time and have been finding prime numbers for a long time. But in more recent years, computers have been employed to find some very large prime numbers. And at the time that I'm recording this, the largest prime number found so far is over 2 million digits. And that's a huge number. Now note that that's not a number that is over 2 million it is a number that is over 2 million digits. So just a staggeringly huge number. Numbers that size are impossible to work with using just a pencil and paper, but computers can be used to deal with numbers that large. We won't be dealing with numbers that large. We'll be dealing with mostly the smaller prime numbers, but these will be showing up in the work that we do later in this chapter.